Hey guys, it's Walt, K4OGO. Today I'm going to use my True SDX to drive an amp, the Zygu XPA125B. It's a 100 watt amp, and um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it with my little True SDX. Stick around. Driving a linear amplifier with my True USDX turned out to be easier than I thought it would. Connecting the transceiver to my Zygu XP125B amp just took some research on which PTT cable to construct or purchase. I referred to the True USDX manual on DL2MAN's website, dl2man.de. He has some great illustrations and drawings showing all the connection ports and their purpose, as well as excellent diagrams showing the pin connection diagram of the jack required to drive an amplifier. After some research, I discovered that the jack required matched that of the PTT cable required for the ICOM IC705 to drive an amp. I went on eBay and discovered that there are several sellers offering IC705 to Zygu XPA125B cables and purchased one. After connecting the cable along with the power cable, an external speaker, and the antenna coax to my home base antenna, which is a Sigma Eurocom HF360 vertical, one important thing to remember doing this is that the amp must be set to manual band selection and the proper band being used must be inputted. I powered the radio up, found the Maritime mobile net on the 20 meter band at 14.3 megahertz and checked in. The harbor of Norfolk and Portsmouth, Virginia, listening in. Hey, Roger, Roger, well, you're sounding great down here in South Carolina from uh, uh, Portsmouth, Virginia there, sir. <laughs> anyway, um, Anything I can do for you, sir? I know. Just wanted to check in. I just kind of hooked up a new little rig here and wanted to see if I could uh, make a contact and see what kind of audio I was pushing out to you. And then other than that, just kind of listen in. Hey, Roger, Roger. Well, you are giving me a S9 and uh, generally over a, a 10 over at times there. So uh, great signal, by the way, Walt. And uh, your audio sounds superb. Not bad for a morning contact when band conditions were really not that good. And I was extremely pleased by the audio quality report he gave me. Okay, you can see that uh, things are working here. There's a lot going on here. A lot of wires. Let's see if we can go work some DX. Thanks for the call. Uh, 5 to 9 in Southwest Wales. QSL, QSL, you are 5 and 9 into uh, Portsmouth, Virginia, USA. Thank you very much indeed for that. And, uh, thank you so much indeed for that. Thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you so 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 much Okay, that was the very reason I wanted to experiment with using the True SDX with an amp. Punching through a pileup, which I did with ease using this setup. A quick word of caution, I posed the question of using the True SDX with an amp on the forum on Manuel's site and got an answer from him. He stated that the PA jack pin is connected directly to the Atmega chip, so use shielded wire only and add a ferrite or two if possible. He also stated that if you have a PA that has an internal relay, that you can use the PTT delay in the menu to safely let the PA enable before sending RF. So use caution and take this task on at your own risk. Well, I hope you found the video uh, informative, maybe enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO73, my friends.